Hi all, this is a G30 9 volt battery. It is not working so we will start to disassemble it. First we have the Phillips screw all around and then we open it and check what is the problem with it. So let's start. So next thing is to take a flat screwdriver and to try gently open it without doing any harm and not to forget that the cells inside might be charged so you need very gently to do it sharp screwdrive and also a big screwdrive so we will start with a knife it is open there is also a seal it's, it is sealed, so I can start with the knife and then and then put the screwdriver. Then what I can do is go all over the battery. When one side is open, so the, it's already okay. This is easy to take it out. And now we are almost there. We have a seal, a additional screws that is catching all the cells in the case. But before doing it, we might want to use a DVM to check if the cells are charged or what. So there is voltage. I don't know exactly, but ah, we have 36 volts. I'm not sure about the total voltage of this battery. Let's check it carefully. Yeah, this is 36 volts. So probably the BMS is dead now. And I think there is also a reset button inside the BMS. And uh, next thing I think in order to, to take everything out, this part here is the wires and it is sealed. Usually there is a, a rubber that is catching everything. But I think that all, yeah, all this part is going out. So it's not a big deal. And now I will have to open all the uh, screw drive that are beneath the silicone or whatever material it is. And then uh, we will can continue. You can do it just by applying a force maybe. Again, everything you do, be careful not to short, so you can remove it by hand and then then put the screwdriver and gently open every screw like this. And I will continue to do it for all the screws. This is how to do it. Now after opening all the screws, I will, I will be able to take it out, but first I want to check why the BMS was locked and so I'm taking the main plug and testing the voltage on the plug. And as you can see the voltage is low and going down, so it's not okay. Next thing is to take everything out. I think I've opened everything, so I will need to use yeah, just take it out very easy. If everything was disabled correctly, so you are good to go. Be careful, of course, not to short anything that you don't have any metals while doing it because you can show the, your battery. 
next thing is to check the cells I will zoom out and now let's see let's zoom out a little okay so I'm going over the cells 3.6 that good 3.6 3.6 point six three point six three point six three point six so all the cells are in very good condition because they're all balanced and I don't see any reason for this problem if this is the case so probably all the circuit or the wires to the BMS okay I don't see any problem so now we get to the BMS itself here is the BMS and I think there is a reset button somewhere but first we will do the same test of the balance on the plugs before I'm opening it I will put it like this on the top I hope it will not fall and now I'm doing the same test but on the wires of the BMS that is are going directly to see if I have a bad connection three point six seven ten fourteen seventeen twenty one twenty six so I don't see also any issue here so maybe just bad soldering or thing like this next thing to do maybe is to find the main output this is the main output to the BMS the wire here also there is the minus is on the other side and I can disconnect it and try to open the PCB here which is the BMS here on this part of the battery and this is the next thing that I want to do because before doing any short or, or trying to open the BMS I will disconnect the main power of course so in order to do it you need to remove again the silicon here and just use a soldering iron and take it out so maybe let's do it this is pretty simple and if I disconnect this and the plug so I'm safe because there is no power uh, to the BMS by the way I think there are more wires so it's not enough to take this out there is another side of the cable because there are not enough wires here you need to have more than 10 wires and I don't have more than 10 so there are additional wires now I am taking this wire off and then I am on the safe side ok, disconnected the wire is disconnected so now I'm almost safe and even if I do any short on the BMS nothing will happen I will also take this plug off just press on it on the other side and then it goes like this and here, ah, here are the additional wires on this side but first I will open the BMS, there are also screws here one, two and then it will be easier to see 
the other side so this is the next thing to do okay so I have also disconnected the negative of the battery in order to take it out so now everything is safe by the way this is the only wire of the uh, from the cells so everything is safe and now I can gently remove all the seal part and now I can see the reset button by the way but before the reset button I want to get to the other side of this board because usually this is the a soldering issue because we've seen that everything looks okay I need somehow to to take this board out of course trying not to harm the part beneath the board Now I can see the other side and this is the connector that I suspect there can be soldering issues. As you can see there is a lot of silicone. So I really did not find any soldering issue after looking at it. I will try, I already connected the power, now I will try to connect the plug and just do a reset to see if it will come back to life. You see it is blinking. I think that it is alive now and I really did not find anything so maybe just putting the plug back uh, with all the material maybe this is the bad soldering issue now it looks okay now if I will check the voltage here it should show of course the 36 volts now Yeah, exactly 36 volts. So the battery is now not charged. I will clo close everything back and try to uh, recharge it. And then I will know if the issue is solved. Just contact issues. Okay, so here is the LED inside. You can see it here blinking here on this side, okay? And now I've prepared a cable for charging. This is regular 42 volt Segway uh, charger. And now I will plug it to the charging cable. Of course, be careful with the minus and the plus. And s let's see if it is charging. Aha! So you can see the LED is now blinking red, which means the charging is now okay. 
Now another thing I want to check is the charging current. I suspect that it will be something around 2 amp and yeah it is you can see 1.81 amp so this is charging and it is charging okay so probably the problem in this case was a uh, bad contact sometimes uh, you have to do some soldering in order to to overcome the problem that is so thank you hope you enjoy be careful when uh, dealing with batteries make sure that they are almost fully discharged and be careful not to do any short and if you are not qualified to do such a thing don't try it first time because it's on your own risk and it is dangerous lithium cells are very dangerous thank you and bye